made the merge. You voted out Andrew unanimously. The plan with Morgan worked to perfection. I'm getting back with Denny, which is nice. I talked with her and I admitted to her what I had contemplated doing a couple of days ago. And while she wasn't entirely comfortable with it, I told her, I said, it was just a lapse on my part. But I think it went well. Um, here's the thing. Frank and I got into a conversation with Denny. And we started telling her some things about what really had happened and what hadn't. We told her that the Annabelle vote, the Annabelle vote was unanimous, even though we were selling to the specialists that it was a split vote and that Frank, no, that it was a split vote that Frank flipped on the specialists and voted out Annabelle. We told Denny that it was not the case. We also told her that the Andrew vote was unanimous. All of a sudden, Pook starts talking to Carrie, and she comes to me. She tells me that apparently the the Andrew vote came up in conversation to him. And he apparent, she apparently said something about, well, we split votes, and he was like, really? Are you sure about that? You sure it wasn't a unanimous vote? And Carrie started to get a little bit freaked out, and then he said to her apparently, right after that, he followed that up with, just like the Annabelle vote, you sure that wasn't unanimous too? Frank and I think that Denny went straight to Pook and told him everything. We're trying to extend an olive branch out there to somebody to, to trust us. And what they do is they run to the most paranoid player in the whole game who blows people's games up with information that he finds out. So this is scary. This is the first time, like, 11 people in the game, merge, tribe... I'm a little freaked out. Um, Frank's talking with Mikey because now we're thinking we have to pull Mikey and Denny in there. We have to get them close with us. No matter what we end up deciding to do, we at least need them to trust us so that they don't start spreading information around to create dissension, especially if that information is true information. This is a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie to you. But I'm not going to play afraid. If we work with Pook and Denny, we work with Pook and Denny. We're already contemplating, potentially, working with them and just going for the specialists right now. Rob will be pissed. I can get Carrie with us. Because she wants to work with Mikey a little bit. She feels bad for the guy. It's what he does. He gets you to feel bad for him. She wants to work with Denny. She wants to work with Logan. Those are all people that would work with us. Logan and I already talked, and he's on board with getting on with the with the Mikey and Denny thing if we work with them instead of against them. This is uh, this is the point in the game where promises that were made may not get upheld. We did it! Made it to the merge, baby! Ah, I am so excited! Ah, man, it has been a rough road. You know, being on the losing tribe week after week after week. And it's just like, you know, you start getting depressed about stuff and thinking, you know, you're not good at this game. But, you know, here it comes. We hit the merge. Guess what happens? Merge feast. There it is. Beautiful colors spread out all over the table. This picture is just looking so great. Everybody's happy, hooting and hollering, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I want that. I want that. Congratulations, this. Not me. I'm scouring this whole picture psh, 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 psh. up and down up and down trying to figure out you know uh what, what am i missing what can i see here is there a clue then bottom left of the little tiny picture with the merge it says message me i want to copy instantly boom message ryan I want a copy. I want a copy. I know I said it first. I know I said it first. And I know he's just thinking like, Jesus, man, like take it in for a second, right? I couldn't do that because I was excited. What do I get next? I get this picture right here. The Merge Feast. So when I say, I want a copy, I want a copy, I want a copy, this is what Ryan sends me. So I'm thinking, okay, obviously... It's inside here. You know, there's obviously an idol or something sitting inside this, right? So I'm looking around, looking around. I can't find a dang thing. Starting to lose hope. 
So what I do, I scroll down, I say idle, boom, send it to Ryan. I circle something. Where is that? I circle right here. Nothing. Come down here, circle this. Nothing. I said, is that it? What does he say? Nothing. Oh wait, no, of course he does. Scroll down. I circle right here, nothing. Circle right here, nothing. Oh my God, I'm circling everything. Picture after picture after picture. What am I doing wrong? And then I say, you know what? I gotta, I gotta look for something else. Right over here, in this little corner, if you scroll in, it says, say. Boom, baby. I clicked on it. Congratulations. You have found a hidden immunity idol. To use this idol, announce when prompted, after the votes are cast, but before they're read. It's the merge, and it's the day of the first individual immunity challenge, and things have been picking up. Pook is getting word from Frank that the three specialists of Ian, Morgan, and Jeremy are joining forces with three of the TRHS people of Corey, Carey, and um, Rob, that those six are joining forces to vote out Pook. How true this is, I do not know, but according to Frank, him and Logan are on the outs, and they are coming to us, the Miamias of Pook, myself, and Denny, to try to counter that. Now, I don't know how this five is supposed to counter six when... The only one that has an idol is me, and, and am I playing my idol for Pook? No. No, no, no. I might let him think that I might if I have to. But actually what I'm doing, I'm turning on Pook. It's time to get rid of Pook for more reasons than I can count. The main reason being what he did to McKenna. I can't, I can't just sit by anymore. And if there is a group that wants to vote out Pook, no, no, I can't, I can't let somebody else do it. Because the way I see it, he's mine to vote out. I gotta vote Pook out. So I told, tell the specialists, I'm with you guys. We are four specialists, not you three specialists. I am with you guys, and we should vote out Pook. So. That's four. The only problem is Frank, Logan, Pook, and Denny seem like they're going to be voting for Morgan, which isn't bad, or which isn't good, I should say. And so we actually need to find out if it's true what Corey, Carey, and Rob's intentions actually are. Because if we can get out Pook then then we're good. We can get out Frank next time. Because Frank doesn't really have an idol. I know I know they think it and that's perfect for me. But Frank doesn't have an idol. Because I have the idol. It's my idol. And I'm not gonna let this game run away from me. So I'm taking a stand in this game and I'm making a move and I'm making sure that I'm safe that I'm in a better spot and my idol stays right here in my back pocket and not have to use it and keep that thing a secret. I'm sorry, Pook, buddy. You got to go, man. You got to go. I mean, I know we've been together and voting together and all that stuff this whole time, but, you know, you stabbed me in the back already. You're making me look like an idiot. And I'm not an idiot. So this is what's happening. Corey, what is the merged tribe name? Uh, Sega Naleka. Sega Naleka, right guys? Yeah. It means- Sega uh, Naleka, is that how you say it? Sega Naleka. It means, um, 
No worries. It means no worries. No worries. Matata style. All right. So Sega na Leica, is that right? Yes. yes. Close enough. All right. Sure. Ryan, I don't think you'll get it because yeah, I'm your Leica. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's why we picked it, so you can't say it, Ryan. That's great. My idea was tossed out the window. <laughs> More than like, like the other idea. <laughs> I still liked the merge tribe. That was that was good. <laughs> good one. But my irritation level was up here with it, just slightly. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, uh, I thought you were fun. I am. Fun. <laughs> oh. All right. Are you guys ready to get to your first individual immunity challenge? Oh yeah. 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 Hey, uh, are we missing somebody? We are. Pook. We are. Pook is we are. He's MIA right now. Uh, I, we message him if he shows up before we start, then he can participate. Otherwise, we're gonna go. Who's the Who's the ADB fifteen? That's my That's my buddy ADB one S five R. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that one up. Bye. <laughs> I feel like there's something we're missing here. I hope Mikey's okay. Ooh. Me too. Something's missing. For today's individual immunity challenge, you will hold dice in between two pencils. At random intervals of the challenge, additional dice will be added. Once your dice drop, you are eliminated from the challenge. The last person left remaining wins individual immunity. Everyone else will be vulnerable at tomorrow night's tribal council. All right, everyone is ready. I'm gonna count you in 10 seconds to pick up just one dice. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This challenge is on. Everyone looks good. We're gonna be with one dice for five minutes. How's up for his day going? The second you lose concentration on your dice, the second you will drop. This challenge is all about staying focused, having the right mindset. Everyone looking good so far. I said every time you do something important, all falls out. Hands are sweating. Rob, first person vulnerable at tomorrow night's tribal council. We're down to 10 people left. Logan Falls! I was excited about that one. Pissed. My hand was really sliding that whole time. I, could I know, it. dude. It slid down the left hand side of the pencil. We are down to nine. Poop <laughs> drops! We are down to eight. 
Whatever you're doing, just keep your mind focused. Stay there. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you're safe. All right, everybody grab two dice, put them side to side on your table. So three dice total, two dice. Two dice. Two dice total, okay, got it. Two dice. Dice total like that. We're gonna pick them up. Same time. Okay. All right. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna count you in again. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Gary falls. Everyone else made the transition but Carrie. Everyone looking good right now, staying focused, concentrating on those dice. Denny falls. We are down to six. Frank falls. We are down to five. Don't lose your concentration now. Sweaty hands, Frank. Yeah, my hands got too close to the guy. Frank falls. Frank falls. Frank falls. Frank falls. Frank I was thinking the same thing. Literally the other Ryan, wake up. My fingers, my fingers touched the dice. That's exactly what happened to me, dude. My hands slid all the way down the pencil. Frank falls. Down to four. level for one more minute. Well, oh, y'all are killing. Jeremy falls. Down to two. Corey yeah. and Morgan. You gotta offer an advantage Corey, right now. Corey, Corey's playing chess, not checkers. Corey so, looks like he does this all the time. I know. This is what I do after I drink a nice big glass of milk. You and your <laughs> milk. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this about Corey. He has three gallons of milk in his fridge at all times. He drinks half a gallon a day. Fun fact. At all? My kids didn't. I drink it with everything. 20 more seconds. Milk and a cigarette. Does the body good. Milk and a hot dog, that's what he said last night. Hot dogs and milk are so good, dude. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're both safe. Nice job, guys. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Real nice job. All right. Morgan and Corey, grab three dice, line them up. I'm gonna count Good you luck, in for seconds. Good luck, Morgan. Ready? 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're back on. Three dice now. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna make it here. I did that for the first dice. I couldn't die. That's what I tried to Morgan do. Morgan Falls! Corey wins individual immunity! <laughs> nice job, Corey. Good job, Corey. Good job, Morgan. Good job, Morgan. Good job, Morgan. Great job. Great job, guys. Oh, that was awesome. Real nice job. Corey, safe from the vote at Travel Council tomorrow night. Everyone else is vulnerable, and we will see you there. Mikey is making us all crazy. Um, and I feel like he blew up his own game. So yesterday we had a plan for six people to go to the final six. And that included Mikey. It was going to be me, Corey, Mikey, Denny, Logan, and Frank. And it was going to be easy sailing. We had a plan. Things were good. Everything was fine. Okay. And then today, it turns out that Mikey is causing a lot of drama and stirring up a lot of nonsense and making everyone insane. Corey, Corey, Corey. You know, you may have the idol, but <laughs> you don't realize that it, it came from me, man. I'm the one that sent the answer over with Denny to get to you. And you supposed to be her number one and guess what you don't share it with her you you keep it all for yourself you're losing it bud you're losing it you know what i mean and phil you know i went to bat for you this whole game i kept you out of one conversation and one vote out that was because it was either gonna be me or andrew and i wasn't dealing with that but now you want to come to my number one again, like people keep doing, mistakenly, <laughs> and tell her that you have the idol. I mean, Corey, Phil, come on, guys. I hand one of you the idol, and the other one wants to keep it from me? Dude, don't think I don't know what's going on in this game, people. <laughs> come on. You're shooting yourself in the foot, both of y'all. I'm running the show, and I'm going to keep running the show. We don't know what he's doing or why he's doing what he's doing. It's just, it seems like he's just causing a lot of unnecessary confusion. Not even the kind of confusion to, you know, save his own self or make people believe that he's voting in a different way. It's just nonsense. Just, I don't understand what he's doing. So, uh, I don't know. I mean... I feel bad because I told him that I wasn't going to vote for him, but I don't know what else to do because he's like making everyone super paranoid and making up random stuff and there's no point in it. So I don't know what to do. As of right now, I'm kind of avoiding him because I don't know what to tell him, but he might be the one going home. He might have to be because I don't know if any of us can risk keeping him in this game when he creates so much uncertainty. Just had to talk with the specialist. Ah, uh, God, kill me. Like, pff, we're talking about bowling half the time. I can't even stand it. God bless everybody who played this game with Pook. I have no idea how you did it. He is a horrible player at this game horrible now yeah he makes it far well he makes it at least halfway through the game every time to like 10th or 11th place but he relies on other people being bad at the game to make moves he copies and pastes messages to everybody he sends the same stuff to everybody it's a total sham everything he says is so unbelievably false i just i literally cannot wait to get him out of the game it, it's just I feel bad for the other nine people that have been voted or the other seven or eight people that have been voted out because none of them deserve to to finish behind Pook. I mean, it's just, yeah, I just don't understand. I, I don't get it. But anyway, um, they basically are trying to lie to us and say that it's going to be Frank. 
Frank, Frank, Frank. So I brought up some ideas. Well, what if Frank has an idol? They're like, well, who do you want to go? And it's just like, well, let's go for Logan after that. So they think they got me all bamboozled with it. And it's just hilarious to me because I get a hold of Frank right afterwards. He lets me know, hey, they just came to me and they're going to go for you, meaning me. Um, I'm not too sure about that yet. I don't know if they're going to go for me, Denny, Phil. Um, we're going to have to really look into this. So tonight the plan is to, to split votes between Pook and Phil. Uh, Phil notified us about uh, two hours ago that he has an idol, which we already suspected. So tonight we're going to try and get him to play said idol. And um, if he plays it, Pook goes home. If he doesn't play it, then on the Revo we vote out Phil because I'm already pretty convinced Denny has the other idol, and if she doesn't have it, Frank has it. We will see. Uh, I'm putting a lot of trust in Frank and Logan. Uh, Logan's been having uh, some problems with his head. Headspace. I've been kind of distant from the game. I've been having really, really bad headaches for the past three months, and the past four days have been worse. So trying to talk game have has been really hard recently. But I'm here. I'm in it 100%. I'm ready to go. Let's get it. The two of them are closest with Pook and Denny. If anybody made a move, it'd be those two. So I'm putting a lot of trust in them here to um, to stick with the splitting vote plan like we've been planning since we were dominating on Nakoda. Me and Denny have came up with an idea that we think is brewing. We think that Jeremy, Ian, Morgan are actually working with Carrie, Corey, and Rob. This is a message from me to you, Pook. I will write your name down again and again and again and again and again and again until Jesus comes down for the second time on earth until I see your ass walk out the door tomorrow. Goodbye. So if that's the case, they're keeping Frank and Logan out of it. You know, and Frank thinks that he has everything handled. Um, I'm hoping Frank does because like I said, I mean, Denny had to handle everything over on our side. So we're hoping that what Frank has built is good enough to allow us to move forward with him. We have a final four deal. Me, Denny, Frank, and Logan. I want to stick by it. Uh, Phil finally came clean, and he told me about the idol. So me and Denny know about it. All right, well, I need to tell you something to calm this down right now. What? I have the idol. Do you really? I really do. What? I've had it this whole fucking time. How did you get that? That same day that you read out Christian's Clue, yeah. I probably figured it out about two hours before that. Wow. Without the hint. <laughs> oh my God. Now I feel stupid for voting out John because I thought he lied to me. <laughs> Jesus. I was, I was okay with you guys thinking John had it. <laughs> I guess. That's awesome. That makes it was really working better. to it was working to getting it done. <laughs> yeah, let's see How did you figure that thing out without the clue? <laughs> so when you called us and said, "Hey guys, try this." Right, I had already tried it and I had already got it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Which I already knew about, but. uh by him doing that makes me know that he does trust me. So I'm trying to just come up with this plan. Uh, I think me and Denny and Phil, if we can kind of bring uh, Frank and Logan on board, it's going to be a tough one. Um, convince Frank, you know, that the other six are working against him. <sighs> this vote is crazy. Originally, Frank, Corey, Carrie... Pook and Denny, we're going to go and blindside Morgan. So what we decided day one after the merge was going to be Morgan. And then as the weekend goes on and people talk, uh, we get more and more information of People spreading rumors, like Poot going to our specialists, talking about things that we never said. Um, idols locations, advantage locations that we don't know are true or not. Um, 
just driving us absolutely crazy. Uh, copy pasting messages from one person to another. Just like weird things that people who are in alliance shouldn't be doing to each other. Um, really rub some people the wrong way. And so I think now Corey, me, Frank, and Carrie are all going to go with the Nakoda 8. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure Pook's gone. Well, I know a lot of people hope Pook's going depending on how Phil plays his idol that is said to be in play. I'm worried that it's going to ruin relationships with Denny. Denny is really close ally to me, um, and I can't let her in because I know she's close with Pook. So it's going to be some damage control after that. It's nothing personal to Denny. It's really just people are sick of Pook. For the past few days, Frank and his minions have been telling me and Mikey that we need to put our votes on Morgan. And Frank's reasoning is because she's too much of a puzzle threat, and he wants Logan to be able to run away with every puzzle challenge. Really, really big vote tonight. It's the merge vote, and I am super nervous about it. Um, I know that Miamia, at least Pook and Denny, are planning to vote for me, and... I'm just really nervous that something could go terribly wrong. Um, I've talked to Ian about it a lot today, and we just... Uh, I'm just really nervous that they're both going to have idols, and just somehow I'm going to end up getting voted out with only two votes. And that would suck so much. Ian convinced me, though, that it's not going to happen. Everything's going to go according to plan. And either Pook or Phil are going to go home tonight. However, last minute, Corey decided to change it to Ian. Why? I have no freaking idea. Makes me a little suspicious that Morgan is super tight with Corey. Um... In the meantime, I was chatting with Carrie, and she said, I really like Mikey, though. It's been nice getting to know him. What do you mean, it's been nice getting to know him? Don't you mean it is nice? So that definitely raised some eyebrows. Um, I guess she didn't take Corey's acting classes, because actually Corey needs to take his own acting classes, or better yet, someone else's, because they both failed miserably in that department. And I'm not an idiot. I could see right through their lies. Since we merged, it has been pretty chaotic. Conversations are everywhere. People are talking to everybody, trying to get information about the other side. And I think tonight is going to be a little crazy. I feel like I've heard everyone's name out there so far, including mine. Heck, I might be going home tonight. I have no idea. But all I can do is trust in the people that I have built relationships with and hope that our plan comes out on top. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we can flesh out an idol. Corey! Yes? You won the first individual immunity challenge. How important was that win for you? Well, I mean, it's the merge vote, so I think anybody wants to just be 100% safe in the merge vote. Um, it, it, it was good, and it felt good, too. I felt like going into that challenge, I felt like it was one that I was going to do okay at, but I didn't think I was going to win. And I dropped my dice on the very first one, and we only had one dice between the two pencils, and he was counting us in, and I got it on right before the two, right before he got the one. Oh, it was good. Yeah, so how were you able to recover from that so quickly and then maintain it throughout the rest of the challenge? Um, well, the, the first thing was that Logan had suggested having his fingers at the ends of the pencils, and I didn't do that the first time. But I just had the one, the one done. <laughs> you, you didn't end up doing it? No, I fell. If I did it, I wouldn't have fallen. <laughs> um, but I didn't do that the first round. I just had the one 
dice. But then as we put the two dice on, that's when I realized if I just had my pinkies on the ends, that would stop my hands from sliding. And Morgan, on the flip side, you came in second place in the challenge. How frustrated were you knowing that you lasted so long and came up just short of winning? Um, I would definitely like to have safety tonight. Um, can't say I'm feeling great about the vote tonight, just hoping to survive. So um, that immunity necklace would definitely feel pretty good just about now. Rob. Yo. What was the dynamic of the group like once you guys actually finally merged all together? Well, it was good vibes at first. And then once we got off the Sega and Aleka Zoom call on the first night, it shit hit the fan and it was a pandemonium and people were telling each other different things. And it was so hard to keep track of that survivor. That's always how the first merge vote is gonna go. And uh, hopefully things play out in my favor tonight. And Logan, what's kind of been the talk regarding idols and advantages in the game? Uh, there's been more talk now than I've heard all game about all kinds of advantages, idols, anything. It's It's been blown up about who could have what, where they could be, and, and how they'll be played. So um, taking those into account, it was very difficult, but so what do you think could potentially be out there in the game right now? Um, multiple idols. We've heard some things about a legacy advantage. And who knows what else? I don't know what you people put in these games. Especially you, Lauren. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carrie. Let's talk about some scenarios for tonight. OK. Which there are a lot of them. Sure. First one being, there's eight former Nakota members sitting here and three former Miamia. Does that play a factor on how you steer your personal vote tonight? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you just have to think about, you know, uh, I think all of us have been running every possible scenario through our heads. Like, if we do this and this person has an idol, then we do this. If this person has an idol, then we do that and I can trust these people because I know them or I don't trust these people because I don't know them or it's it's so much. There's, my head's gonna explode, it's insane. Denny, also another factor to consider is there's five former TRHS members here and six former specialists here at the merge. Do you think that could come on to come into play on this first vote? Um. I really don't think so. <laughs> I don't know what to think, honestly, because I've heard so many different things today, but um, I just have to trust the few people in this game that I know I can trust, and, and that's it. Frank, there's some people here that have pre-existing relationships from other games. How big of a factor does that play? I think who you know pre-game definitely factors into how you play the game. But that twist on day one threw all of our pre-game out the window. So we had to readjust and reevaluate and build new bonds and new relationships. And Pook, over these past 24 hours, I'm sure there's been a lot of scrambling going on from everyone. How much is that playing fatigue on certain people, do you think? Uh, I don't know, because I never scramble. Everybody knows that. Uh, just kidding. No, it's probably playing pretty crazily in everybody's minds. I mean, if you look around, everybody here looks a little sleepy, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't think that people have been getting enough rest in this room. I don't think that, uh, yeah. There's no, there's no rest for the wicked, right? We just need to, uh, we need to get done what we need to get done. And tonight's going to tell a lot. What do you mean by tonight's going to tell a lot? It's going to add to your story. That's all I have. <laughs> it's just going to tell a lot. See what happens. 
see who's with who, see who's telling the truth, who's not. It's gonna tell a lot. And so, Phil, much of this game, you've had to attend tribal after tribal after tribal. Did miss much? Hmm? Did miss one. Did you did miss one? But how much does fatigue play factor? with that for you, since some of these people have only attended a few tribals up until the merge? I don't know if it's necessarily fatigue. I think it's more that, I, I would say we're more in the game because we've been doing this more often. We've been doing it pretty much the whole game. So we're more in it where other people haven't really been doing any voting. They've just been talking about voting. So does that, do you think that gives you an advantage with having to attend so many tribals? I hope so. Phil, I like your hat. The only advantage Philip has in this game is the idol that's in his pocket right now. Oh, that's yeah, the only that's advantage he has. Problem. Going to tribal doesn't give him an advantage. There's that rumor floating around. So Jeremy, on the flip side, you've only had to go to two tribal councils and you really haven't had to test the waters as much with alliances. So how big of a factor is that for you? Um, it could be a pretty big factor. I mean, the Dakota people, we've only been to uh, two tribal councils together. And then um, myself, Logan and Ian skipped out on the tribal whenever we, we split up for that one vote. Um, and so we really haven't had those successful or tribal councils where we voted together. Um, and so that could be a definite factor about if our word is gonna be our word and where the line could be drawn in the sand tonight. So Ian, how are you basing your vote tonight with it being the first one of the merge? Basing my vote on who I think deserves to be here who I think I can trust versus who I think I can't trust. That's about it, especially the trust. Frank, do you think this vote is gonna steer the direction for the rest of the game? 100%. This is going to be a vote that decides your finals. Denny, do you agree with Frank on that? Absolutely. Does anyone else have anything to say <coughs> before we vote? Play your idol, Philip. Are you going home? On that note, it is time to vote. I'm voting Philip tonight in the hopes that. People do what they're gonna say. Hopefully, Philip plays his idol and Poop goes home. If Poop does not go home, I hope they vote me out tonight because playing in a game with Poop is the most stressful thing I've ever had to do. <laughs> Philip, not want to vote you out this early as we had a pretty deep alliance pregame, but it's either you or Poop tonight, hopefully. Play your idol. So it says Michael Pukol, but my vote is for Mikey. You are annoying. You lie constantly. You're a pain in the ass to everybody. Nobody likes you in this game. I will write your name down again, 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 and again until you are gone. You think by now you'd consider switching your strategy, but you fail to do that. I suggest doing that next time. Pook? telling you buddy we wanted to work with you but you just kept playing games we wanted to play ball with you and you wanted to play poop not my style gotta go all right i'll get the vote well you're right frank i will if you do did you solve that hint yet 
the clue that I got when I got uh, voted the captain? Yeah, I figured that out day one. I'm, a, I'm like Rain Man. All right. <laughs> if anyone has a hidden title and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Right. Right. Um, I should be trusting in the people that talk to me, but uh, I just want to have an insurance policy, so I'm going to play my idol for myself to win. Do I have to send you something? You got your idol? Yeah. I just wrote it down on a piece of paper so it looks legit. Unbelievable. <laughs> Do I have to send it to you? No. Alright. Okay. Mook does have a hidden me idol. Any votes cast against Pook will not count. Hey, right. Ryan. Yeah? I'm going to go ahead and do the same. Do the same what? I'm going to play my idol. All right. Playing it for yourself? Yep. All right. Phil also has a hymn you idol. Any votes cast for Phil will not count. I read the votes. First vote. Philip, will not count. Philip, will not count. Phil, will not count. Phil, will not count. Phil, will not count. Who will not count? Who will not count? Who will not count? Who will not count? Ian, that's one vote Ian, one vote left. Tenth person vote out of Survivor Tier HS versus Specialist. Ian. Ian, you try to spoke. Good game, Ian. Nice try, everybody. That's cute. Well, first merge vote, two idols played, exciting blind side. We'll see you tomorrow night. Well, not the way that I wanted it to end, but Pook and Denny made a great play. Nothing I can do about it. We did what we were going to do. 5-5 five, five split. Sometimes Cookie just crumbles that way. Um, this has been some of the most fun I've ever had um, in my entire life. I got to meet some of the best people that I've ever met. Um, everybody on Dakota, Phil, Denny, they're just wonderful people. Like people that I really wish I would have known for a lot longer than just uh, the few weeks that we played this game. Um, hoping I get to talk um, to some of them soon with the jury. Um, rooting for Morgan and Jeremy.